What were we doing? <laughs> we were making a mending machine. A basic mending machine. Uh, if I hold shift and click it, there we go. It puts all the stuff in. Awesome. So that should be a quest too. Yep. Over here. You get a loot bag. What's in the bag? Meat feast pizza. We've not eaten this yet. Now, is this... I think this is one of the... Yeah. Okay. So they're... Like, to craft this pizza normally, you first have to make a normal pizza. And then you add a bunch of meats. Some of which we've not eaten. But, uh, yeah. I, I do check on some of these food items that they're not things that you could then craft into other food items. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the things you need to make to for Healing Axe 2.0. Oh, to make a second one? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Anyway, uh, we can't eat that yet. And probably what I'll want to do is we'll want to eat the first banana split since we've not eaten that yet. And it's much less saturation and haunches. So yeah. Uh, so the basic bending machine is good. But before we do that, we, uh, we need to prep a little bit more uh, wire to supply power. Yes. Yes. Uh, do we have a wrench on us? No. It's probably in one of these. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. There's our steel wrench. Gonna need that. Move some machines around. Um, we'll see how that's gonna work, actually, because... We might be missing something that we're going to need to deal with wires. We'll see. We'll see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. Right, right, right. So. One, two. So we got some tin cables. So this is um, max voltage 32. Max amperage one. So if we just use the one steam turbine, then um, it's only one amp, so that's fine. Now I think what we need to do first is we're gonna widen this room a little bit. I have my excavator, right? Do I have torches? Yes. All right. So we're gonna do a little. Oh, nighttime. It'd be hilarious if there was like a mob out there and I just opened that and it drops right in. Uh, no, it would. All right, anyway. Ah, that's why that block was there. Okay, one thing we should do. Can we make slabs from these blocks? Oh, we could, uh, we could use the uh, uh, forge micro box, micro block saw. Can we use like a, can we make like an iron saw? Diamond, peridot, stone. Yeah, stone is an option. Ruby, iron, here we go. So let's, uh, let's quick mark that. So that's just sticks and then iron rods and an iron saw blade. Okay, iron plates, right. Oops. Cool. All right. Um, the reason I want to do that is just like, I don't want to leave a hole here, <laughs> but we, we can, we can circle back to that. That should be really fast to do. Uh, but I just want to make a little bit more room here and then maybe we can, um, we can move the steam turbine to the end of this pipe and then run two wires off of it for now. Yeah, something. What's here? Ha. Huh. Okie dokie. Uh, 
out. Let's remove some of these blocks. Yeah, so there's the stair where we jump just to make sure mobs can't wander in uh, from, you know, the very beginning of this little uh, tree house. All right, I think maybe one more block over. So let's do this. Flag. There's the storage room down there. Uh, let's dig this out. Just, uh, you know, make a little room for us down here to work. Oh yeah, so I could have, if I have my digger's backpack, um, not locked, all this dirt and stuff would just go in there, yeah? The tulip won't. Let's throw that over there right now. Um, we need a chisel. If we're gonna keep up our decor. And then grab some cobble, chisel it into uh, this style, I guess. I, uh, I really, I want to do kind of just a ad hoc sort of, you know, as we need room, we'll, we'll kind of build things out because I'm not really interested in focusing on kind of like base design or decor or anything to really to any extent. Um, I suppose the only thing is kind of what emerges kind of organically as we're like, oh, well, we need this space. Except for head decor, yeah, the, the other house. Um, whatever kind of happens organically as we expand out is fine. Otherwise, like, I'm not, I don't care that, like, the wall is dirt here. That doesn't matter to me. What I do care about is that the floor is a block that mobs can't spawn on. So that even if I need to turn off the light or whatever, um... We don't have to worry about mobs spawning down here. Oh, can't have a block there. Or otherwise the uh, chest will not open. Also, welcome back, Foxy. I see that you're back. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, the torches now are just for me to be able to see more than anything else. Um, the hole here is annoying. I don't know if I'm going to bother making the, the micro block saw right now. So I'll just ignore it. Um, but this should give us enough room. Like if I put the steam turbine right, like right here and I can put two wires across and I can put the machines like at eye level, that will be kind of nice. Yeah, I think so. Um, hey, death row. How was the rest of your stream? Good. I hope. Still, uh, it looks, so I've not been following too closely along and like the detail of like the lore and the story and stuff, but, uh, I got the sense that it's kind of approaching towards the end of the story. Is that, is that an accurate statement? Yeah, I made it to end game. Ooh, what is that? Don't touch the, what did I just press? T? Okay. Don't touch the context. Pick up a basic steam turbine. We did that. Okay. Uh, you can do vaults now. They're like dungeons. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So we are... Our inventory is... Well, not that full. Okay. Uh, so we're going to take the steam turbine. And we're going to put that on the pipe. There we go. And then connect the pipe to the steam turbine. And now the steam turbine has steam. Uh, we got a contact point on the end to put wires on, but I think what we can do, no, no, that'll be, that'll be good. 
So we have our two 10, 1X10 cables. And um, there we go. So we can, we can like touch this and it doesn't electrocute us. <laughs> uh, and then we can do the wire mill. So I'll put the wire mill like underneath there. We'll have to figure out how to make it connect. I think we can make it connect. And then we'll do the same thing for the, for this, for the bending machine. Now, I think what we can do How's this gonna work? We can we can do a few different things. The location of the vent here, ow, it's kind of awkward. We might see about moving around some of the other machines, but for now it's fine. As soon as I can figure out how to make the cable connect to the machines, and hopefully I can connect them to the top. I guess it's possible that it doesn't work that way. Um, maybe the quest book tells me how that's supposed to work. Ba, 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 ba. Is there something about electrical wiring in this? Since we've not done electrical wiring um, until we hit LV, which was just last stream. Saving redstone, transport pipe. Uh, conveyor, tetra tetrahedrite, machine interface fluid IO. Uh, that was the pump. Alloy smelter. Oh yeah, so there's a low voltage al alloy smelter. One thing we might look at doing is maybe even replacing some of our steam machines with the uh, low voltage equivalents, as that makes sense. Uh, need a map on fuel choices. Well, I don't have that, but we have pretty uh, we have suggestions. You can use steam up to IV, but beyond MV, it gets pretty painful, right? So basically what I've seen is like you do various, like you use various things to produce steam and you can use steam power through different kinds of turbines quite a ways into the game. Yeah, gas turbines, large steam turbines, things. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna check that off. Yeah, benzene is the thing that I've seen in people's playthroughs. Uh, from logs. Uh, that's the mixer, mica ore, electric furnace. I don't see anything about um, how wiring is supposed to work. That's the centrifuge. Um, I want to say though, is it is it like the the wire cutter? It's some kind of tool that we use to uh, make the wires connect. It is the wire cutter. All right. Of course, that uses durability on it too. All right. So now we have the wire mill, and we can auto output items. Um. I guess if we're gonna do this, the problem is I can't really. I can't put a normal chest underneath here because it's blocked by there being a block above it. I could put a chest like to the side of each. If I bring out the wall one more. Oh, it's night. Blocked by a block. Yep. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's how vanilla Minecraft chests work. Is that uh, if you have... I don't even have a chest. But if you had a chest down there... Uh, it would uh, it wouldn't open I can I can give an example hey look oh my I made a lot of fine copper wire uh, okay maybe I won't be breaking it oh right 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 I have a thing for this I have a dolly yoink all right so if I put the chest there I can't open the chest If I put the chest here, oh, I, I still couldn't open the chest, <laughs> actually. Ooh, okay, using the wrench on a chest breaks the chest. Did you know? Uh, 
Uh, all right, well, that could have been worse. Okay, did we pick up everything? Uh, I think so. Um, we could put the chests on the back. Yep. It's kind of weird, but we could do that. There you go. So if we auto output items, then they'll go into the chest in the back. All right. Let's um let's get another chest. Deny. Oh yeah, I do have a hopper. Okay, cool. And then for the hopper, we can just put it on the front like this. We can still access the block, like even from the front. Yeah, so that'll be good. So we could potentially put a hopper on this one as well and get a chest and so we can load up a bunch of materials to like a bulk process. Uh, but first, let's make another chest. Uh, let's see, let's get some oak planks going. Whichever way they go, there we go. Back to tab one, uh, a chest, there we go. Oh yeah, and then we don't need the dolly. Good, it folds up, puts itself away. Um, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> uh, I think there's not really a way to avoid that. I guess that's not bad. We'll do something better later. Okay, so we have the basic uh, bending machine. Now, I've been harping on how important it is to have this machine. So let's see. Um, I think pretty much everything is circuit one. If we were to look at like um, steel plate, One of these steel plates. Oh, whoops. There it is. Uh, so if we look at the bending machine, there we go. There we go. One steel ingot makes one steel plate on circuit one. Circuit one. All right, so now Instead of using one and a half ingots to make a steel plate, now we can just use one. And we're gonna need a lot of plates. So I'm just gonna make a stack. And then these will go into the chest in the back. Right there. Voila. All right. All right, <laughs> that's that. Now, essentially this makes it really easy. Well, it makes it easier to make wire and plates and uh, some other stuff that we'll need to make all the other machines, right? So you can see here, just what you can see in this quest book now, look at all the machines. Like, look at all the like quests. Where you, every quest where you see a, like a block-like item, that's a machine we can make that follows a very similar pattern to the things we, the two things we just did, right? Where like if we look at, um, ba, 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 what's a good thing? Chemical bath, uh, okay, like the lathe. I don't know if this would be the next thing to make. I wasn't really planning on making more than those two machines today uh, in terms of like the order that things need to be made in to make it efficient. But like if we look at the lathe, you see it's it's basically the same thing. It's still a machine hall. It's two uh, low voltage uh, electronic circuits uh, or, or variants. There are more efficient to make variants we can make later, like cheaper to make uh, once we have more technology. So like microprocessors and stuff. 
And then an electric piston, made one of those, electric motor. Uh, we got we got those for free. Uh, a diamond, some tin cables. So it's kind of the same things, just in a different arrangement to make the lathe. So, you know, you look at this, right? And each, each of these machines is gonna be, to start with, the machine hull is eight steel plates, right? So that stack of steel, at a minimum, is gonna make eight machines. And there's way more than eight machines on this, uh, in, in this tier. So we're gonna need way more than that, but that's that's a good place to start. Um, and I didn't need to open this up after all, right? Because we we put the chest on the back. Mm, excuse me. Ooh, right, so we got a, uh, all right. So I guess I didn't get this until I picked it up again. I got a base 16 turbine trophy. I wonder how many other things are like, I just need to go break it again to get the trophy. The trophy doesn't do anything, right? If I hit you? Okay, good. It's not like the uh, the cow and chicken things. There we go. So. <laughs> uh, it just struck me. That's like a month. <laughs> I wonder how, we, we, we did lose one, right? So there's the Coke oven one that we got after we broke the Coke oven, like broke it down, the one that was over there. There was another one that we got at one point, but got blown up by that creeper. Um, but yeah, it would be cool to have like a trophy haul. That's what I was just thinking. I don't know how many trophies there are. Here's, here's a question. T R O P H Y. Okay. <laughs> the Stargate trophy. Research station trophy. Fusion reactor. Yeah, it'd be cool to have like a like a uh, a trophy room. What's cool is you could probably design something like you know you can see how many trophies there are. You could design something based around. Uh, I guess what we would probably do is we would put the Stargate trophy at the end. <laughs> In the place of honor. Nuclear reactor trophy. Assembling line trophy. All of these things are super, super far away, especially the Stargate. Uh, electric blast furnace trophy. That should actually be pretty soon, I think. If it's the one that I'm thinking about. Oh, also, let me put away the coins. Yeah, I agree, though. It would be cool to have. Put the coins away. Um, yep. What's in the digger's backpack now? Random stuff. Clean water and actual oxygen trophy. Wrong. <laughs> um, there. So speaking of oxygen not included, though, there is an achievement I think for like basically only using renewable. Like there are achievements in in that game for those sorts of things. So, um, but in this game, I don't think there's any way right now, like we don't have the technology to detect it until it starts becoming harmful, but we are making pollution. Like we are making pollution here from like that and the other machines downstairs. Um, hey, Nate, how's it going? We're, we're just doing some, uh, uh, doing making some steel from uh, charcoal and iron and uh, starting uh, to make you know some things that run off electricity off of steam steam into electricity into lots of cool machinery it's, uh, it's definitely a lot a lot of stuff to do how has your uh, Monday been going? Just want to put some stuff away here while I'm thinking about it. Inventory gets so clogged. Oh, nighttime also. Sleep. All 
right? Uh, BRB gotta find the plugin. Cell gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. So I think I mentioned this last stream, but it's super cool. If you hover over something and press T, then there we go. That's where it goes. It shows you a nearby inventory that contains the item. Some of these things, there's only one of right now. I'm only keeping one wire cutter. So there's only one place that would be. I'm keeping the uh, chisel and one of these chests. Uh, dirt, usually uh, it's right there. Let's do some sorting. Um, I'm gonna just keep these food items on me for now. want to definitely eat these ones first that I've not eaten before. The netherrack I'm keeping on me so I can repair the uh, the lumber axe. I guess I can also repair it. Other way around. Very satisfying sound. Get that repaired. Right. So, um, I think... I, I need to do a little bit more research and planning around, <clears throat> excuse me, around next steps for our machinery. Um, like, okay, so now we have, ow, uh, a stack of steel plates. We got all this wire and stuff. So we have a lot of materials. I don't know how much more we're gonna need before we're, uh, you know, I don't know how much more material we need, probably more than this, but I don't want to commit yet. Um, yeah, so I think next thing should be, ooh, let me grab some of those steel plates actually. And we'll uh, we'll go down and uh, make a new knife and we'll do some hunting. Yep. Uh, so you said woken up with shoulder, shoulder pains, like someone took off my arm. My nerves are sensitive and I feel like I couldn't move around. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your uh, shoulder feels better. You think that was just like, I mean, I've never had shoulder pain like that bad, but I've had some from like sleeping on my shoulder wrong, like sleeping on my side, but uh, probably more to it than that. All right, how do we make a knife? It's probably two plates. I don't know. No, because that's a file. Maybe it's one plate. K N I F E. Knifey. We can make a knife blade. Oh, here we go. Knife. Uh, so it's a plate and a rod. Right. And we can't make rods with machines until we make the lathe. And it, it doesn't. It, it, we just get a little bit of bonus material back, so it's not super important. Uh, although it does save us on our filing, right? So instead of using up our file, we can use a machine. But it's not the end of the world right now. So there we go, steel rod. Um, and then a plate. And I don't remember anymore. And I, F. Um, okay. And it would be really cool if we could just click this and it would, or if there's a way to click this and it would just add the things that we did have, but it's a hammer and a file. A hammer and a file. Hey, that's even the right order. Okay, there we go. So now we have a steel level three. Um, uh, knife. All right, so what we're after is some more leather. So we're gonna go try to find some cows. We have 16, we just need four more leather to make uh, the backpack. Uh, hunting trip, cold but sunny was nice. My son and daughter, they get tools from uh, FFL dealer. Yeah, he made the trip this way with his wife. They were super happy. Uh, I see. I 
I'm not uh, IRL. I don't think I've ever gone hunting. No. That was not something that was uh, like a family thing. You know, so it's not something that I really had an opportunity to, to do. Um, and of course, not, <laughs> likewise, not in a, a position where that was a, even a necessary thing to do. Um, but yeah. I can uh, imagine that being uh, a good time. Now, I'm trying to recall where we might find some cows for our in-game hunting trip. Um, we have sheep. Sheep are not going to give us leather, though. Ooh, we're going to eat our banana split. All right. So working on our, our, our quest, um, not not this kind of quest, but our quest to, uh, to eat, eat one of everything. Uh, just need to start working out again. Gonna be short summer, getting logs to haul up. Am I remembering right? Were you uh, were you up in Alaska, or am I thinking of someone else? Because when I think of short summers, <laughs> uh, northern latitudes, English speaking, I think of Alaska. Yep. Uh, I thought there were maybe cows this way. I guess we just keep on looking. I could have gotten on the horse. Hmm. I don't know. This is not feeling very cow-like. I think I might go back and... Um, Grab the horse. We can cover more ground that way. I was just thinking there was some cows right here, but I don't know why I was thinking that. On the other hand, this is working uh, working down our hunger so we can finish off some of these things that we've not eaten yet. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to make your shoulder worse. Uh, I think I try visit Denmark uh, for... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about Denmark, because Denmark's not... I might not even be as far north latitude as, um, uh, as Alaska is. But... Um, oh, was the, there's a... Um, there's an island... I don't think it's a, a possession of Denmark, though. Um, I think it starts with an S. There's like a seed vault there. That might be a place where they potentially have like 24 hour daylight uh, part of the year. I don't know. Um, do I, I probably also want to grab the lead and fence post if we're going to go on a trip with the horse. Hmm. Now, was that in here? Yes. We don't need all these bolts. Might use the internet to look up. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, not all year, right? There's nowhere, that, nowhere on Earth. You need to be like an uh, orbit around the sun. <laughs> it's gonna be twenty um, all year. Uh, it's 30, 31, 32. Okay, we can sleep now. All right, which direction? North, south, east, or west? So, um, I did do some exploring the other day because I lost a lot of my map when we moved to the, when I moved this world to a server. I, I failed to preserve the, uh, the map information, unfortunately. So I had done a bunch of exploration out here. Like you can see where I did manage to preserve like info about like the, the veins that I had found. Um, I feel like there, again, this might be a fake memory. Uh, might've been some cows around this area. So we might go south. Um, the exploration I did the other day, I was looking, I found this village over here. I found this, um, so this is a bog off to our like Northwest, uh, which is really good for like, if we did a bunch of, um, cleanup. It could be a very good place for like growing crops because it has very good uh, nutrition for crops and then sludge pit as well. Uh, it's all like high temperature, highest temperature, but high humidity. Um, and then these mountains over here is really cool. Like at some point we're going to like abandon, we're going to move on from this low tech base. And um, when we do that, it might be cool to build a base inside of the, the mountains over there. Like do a fully underground base with like tunnels and, and stuff. So that might be a thing to do. Uh, so I'm gonna go south though. I feel like there might be cows to the south. And we'll fill in some of the map that was lost. Yeah, you gotta watch out for some of the uh, some of the wolves in this are not um, passive is the wrong word, but neutral, right? So that you know, if you attack a wolf in vanilla Minecraft, they'll they'll attack you back. But in this, there are like dire wolves or whatever that will uh, that are aggressive. Mm, excuse me, to you. So we could probably just cross here and then go to the right. But not all wolves in this, just some. Um, I don't remember if that was on stream, but one of my early deaths was to uh, to said creep, said said wolf, kind of wolf. So, um, yeah, horse doesn't like that. Fortunately, this feels easier than my memories of doing this sort of thing in vanilla Minecraft. Like much easier to push the horse through the water. I don't know if this is just, maybe it was also this, oh, server lag. Get back over here. That's done with you. Like in uh, vanilla, my recent memories of doing this sort of thing in vanilla Minecraft is that it's much more annoying to uh, push a horse like that. So I see a cow. Just the one. Okay. Um, I might just do this. Just hold on, of course. 
All right, so we needed four more leather, right? So it should be pretty quick. There we go. Cool. Hmm. Now I don't even know how many slots are in this backpack that we're making. Um, I know that there are better backpacks later that we'll be able to make um, that have maybe like twice as many slots as this or three or four times. But uh, we'll see. No leather from that one. A couple more cows up here. So there is like a delay before you can swing the knife again and it actually does damage. Okay, well, that was easy. We're done. Uh, so this right here is a, uh, a dungeon. <laughs> uh, I have been here before. Well, you, you could probably tell that because I discovered those veins just to the north of here. But, uh, so like if you go in there, there's a staircase and you go down and there's a bunch of like spawners uh, that spawn and stuff. Very dangerous. There should be some loot in there. Um, I don't feel like we're, we're, like you could, you could probably cheese that. Like you go in and you poke in and add lights from the outside and then you run away and let stuff despawn and then you go back. Like you, you could cheese it that way and I guess we could do that. I don't know that there's such good loot in that that it would be worth the time. I guess I don't know that that's not the case also. All right, that's as far as we can get the horse, huh? One time I, I tried to uh, cross a river like this and uh, uh, you know I got halfway across and I kicked off the horse and then got on and was not paying attention to the direction. Went back across to the wrong side, which is, uh, you know, I'm sure everyone's done that sort of thing. Lost track of uh, the direction they were going. But that was just the other day. Oh, look, I guess we passed a cow on the way there. Or more spawned in or something. Okay, well, whatever. We are going the right way, right? Uh, yeah, we can just go up the, the frozen part of the river. And then we're nearly back. Let me turn this off. Turn off the grid, too. There we go. So there's our base. Hmm. Um, at some point we're going to have to start. Why did you say whoops, Foxy? Oh, about the turning around <laughs> thing. Um, oh yeah, so I was gonna say, uh, at, at some point we're going to need to um, start collecting bees, right? So I was just seeing the, um, we passed a beehive, like a naturally spawning beehive, like, like that one there. And those are around in the world. And we can, if we had a scoop, we could scoop out bees out of the hive and uh, to use that to uh, breed our own bees and do the whole the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna turn off this backpack. There we go. Why would I turn off the backpack? Well, um, I've had um, mixed luck with using the fence post and the lead to keep the horse locked up kind of like for an extended period of time. Uh, so that's why, yep, I'm just 
trapping it like this because the horse is not going to go anywhere where I've seen the lead break even like right here um, so that's why I'm doing that okay how, how are we doing here good have we have we eaten uh, an apricot before I planted this tree the other day because I thought we had an apricot but we had not eaten any no, uh, yeah, eaten before. Okay, well. So I have been, uh, as I go, trying to do a few different food crafting things to, uh, you know, get some variety of foods. Again, for that quest to eat one of everything. Um, and a village where me and my wife like to shop is ran out of gas at the gasoline bass and bulk tanks. Oh no. Is that, is that a common occurrence? So we can make apricot jelly. There we go. If I had an apricot, how I do. There we go. All right, cool. Oh, nighttime. Oh, it's, um, I don't feel tired right now. It is a blood moon. Now here's a question. Am I safe? Am I safe in my base? Uh, the way it is right now. What do we think? So nothing can spawn in here. No guarantees in games. Uh, stuff could spawn in here if it wasn't lit enough. One thing we can do is we can use F seven so yeah so there's stuff out there um i guess i will just add some cobblestone yeah uh steam pipe is hot <laughs> uh, yeah, so nothing can get through there. Um, so with F7 turned on, yeah, no, I, I knew what you meant though. Uh, with F7 turned on, we'll get a red X if there are any spots where mobs could spawn. Like even if this room was completely, completely dark though, no mobs would be able to spawn in here. Um, except for maybe like right here <laughs> and right there because, um, you know, we're using this block, but yeah. And then down here should be the same thing. So I think we should be safe now. We just have a, an enjoyable red tint to everything until, uh, the blood moon is over. Which is what's going on. I failed to explain that. That message that you don't feel tired right now. Specifically means that it's currently a blood boon. So more stuff will spawn. But I'm pretty sure it still obeys the same rules for like mobs can't spawn if uh, you know they normally wouldn't be able to. In a place. Alright. In the meantime we made apricot jelly. Which is something uh, that I've not eaten yet. So once we're hungry again, which we could probably help along if I just did a little running, we can eat that. Um, yep, going stir crazy. Hey, Jake, how's it going? How you doing? Welcome in. Hi, oh, there we go. I'm hungry again. <laughs> All right, more progress towards eating all the things. Here's our, our current uh, nutrition stats. So we're low on dairy and protein. Um, we do have like the banana split and this item that'll help, help us with dairy and protein. But I think a lot of the thing, things in the lunchbox are light on dairy and protein. There's a little dairy in the pineapple yogurt and protein here with the, the fish. You just got in from the city. All right. Uh, 
I'm I'm stuck here. I'm stuck in my base. What am I gonna do? I guess I could work on things. Uh, so we got the leather uh, that we need for the backpack, and we have string. So maybe we can work on the backpack. So we need five of these tanned leathers. So we need five bound leather. We can make two. What are we short on? String. Okay. Uh, just getting ready to hit the hay, but I had to stop in and say hey and show some love. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah, Antarctica. Yeah, of course. Antarctica, December to February. Sun never sets. Yeah. I mean, that should be the same, but opposite time of year for uh, around the North Pole, right? I just don't know how far, like, you should be able to get, like, if you go to, like, far northern Alaska, above the Arctic Circle, something like that, should be the case. Um, I think we might be kind of stuck here, though, in terms of having enough string. I don't know if six is going to be enough. Can make one more so that's three but we need five uh the other thing we need to do is right now we have one drying rack uh let's also put the knife away put the dirt away and come morning i'll have to go out and deal with the spiders but until then uh oh yeah put the lead and the uh fence away uh, let's get that drying rack down. We're gonna make a few more. How do we make a drying rack? Okay, so wood screws and slabs and a screwdriver. So how many wood screws do we have? Six. Okay. Norway is April to August. So we can make one more of those. Huh. Wait. They're both drying racks. Why don't they stack? Now they do. Interesting. Wait, how many? It is two. Uh, oh, I'm out of slabs? Yes. Okay, make more. Oakwood slabs. I don't know why there's like two levels there, but whatever. Internet is useful sometimes, yes. I mean, I suppose there's lots of, you know, things that are entertaining or useless or whatnot. But there's lots of useful information on the internet. All right, we got three of those, three of those going, uh, which are the three I have anyway. I need to make two more, but I need more string to do that. Uh, I suppose if I fought the spiders, <laughs> then I would have string. Uh, I feel like that would be a bad idea though. Steam is going good. Spiders are out there. Hmm. Just like two more hours until sunrise. Uh, wow, time has flown for the stream tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna put the remaining, I'll put the string back in its, its slot. There we go. And then woven cotton there, leather. Uh, well, we're gonna use that leather too, so we'll put that there for now. Uh, raw beef, where does that go? Let's see, uh, T. Ah, in there. All right. So we're we're almost certainly gonna need more steel plates. So the issue, right. So I don't want to overcommit to making steel plates though. We might need like steel rods or something else from those ingots. Like until I know 
<laughs> exactly the proportion of stuff. I don't want to uh, commit to that. But uh, I think this is uh, this is gonna have to be it for today, though. Um, let me. Oh snap! I clicked the wrong button. Instead, we have an ad. Sorry about that. I meant to snooze it. Let's chill here for a little bit. Yeah, you're still here. Subs are still here. Uh, hold on. Let me uh, let's see. I can I can move my cursor out of the game if I do that. If you have a sub, you don't get an ad. So there is that. What is Frosty Tool saying? Meanwhile, let's catch up on chat. Chat's been a wild mix of Pokemon escapes and real life adventures. Foxy Blue tried their luck, but oops, that uh, Dura Ludon was a slippery one. Uh, Native Hunter 90 shared a gasp worthy tale of empty tanks at their fave village spot. Well, I don't know if that was fave, but a spot. Jake Jardashian popped in with city vibes and bedtime hellos, spreading love before hitting the hay. Foxy's sending back all the love while uh, Native drops some cool facts about sunsets. So the the nice thing after the after the blood moon, right, is that a lot of the mobs will just die from the sun. Uh, so I think what I'll do. Let's um, let's do this. This will be fun, right? So once the ad is over and we're back from the ad, we'll I'll go out and we'll we'll fight the mobs and then uh, we should raid someone uh, for the for the end of the stream. Um, we got about a minute left on the ad. I just hate to you know. I'm not gonna end the stream like while people are in the middle of an ad. It seems so rude. Um, nor am I going to do anything significant while people are not, not able to be here. Um, but yeah, some good progress. Oh, you caught it. You both caught it. Nice. Ooh, and we can eat our second banana split. Mm, could go for a banana split. All right, we're almost back from the ad. We have a lot of saplings. The, um, yeah, the the rainforest oak uh, tree, the big ones produce a lot of saplings. They got like what? Oh yeah, so it adds them up right there. So like uh, 1,200, 1,270 or so. All right, we're back from the ad, which is good. I didn't mean, I meant to snooze the ad. I meant to snooze the ad and uh, I guess I triggered it anyway. Oh well, uh, so we're gonna go, we're gonna cl clear out the mobs, and then uh, we're gonna go do a raid. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know who we're gonna raid, we're gonna raid someone. Uh, here we go, here's a here's a spider right here. So let's, uh, let's deal with this current situation. Steam pipe there is kind of awkward. Can I hit you? Well, he's kind of hurt anyway. And no, no I can't, I can't hit him from there. Okay, guess we'll, uh, we'll go out. All right, are there more? Are there more? Hydrate, yes. Ah, hydrate. Oh, that was a lot of water. Uh, oh, right, I have um, F7 still turned on. Turn that off. So red X's. I, can, I, I guess I could finish my explanation from before. Red X's means that those spots, even in daytime, stuff can spawn there. Uh, because that's like shade from the tree, I guess, apparently. Uh, and then yellow X's means that at nighttime, stuff could spawn there. All right, is there, is there a spider up here? Can we see where mobs are from up here? 
anything left or was it just the one spider and everything else burned up oh yeah there's a spider up there uh, down there uh, look I can tell the difference between up and down sometimes uh, so something I saw um, the other day I think that was yesterday um, was a flying spider in this oh look a piece of string um, there's all sorts of spiders in this. What kind of spider are you? You are a... Yeah, you are a flying spider. Can fly for short distances. Now, he's not hostile now, but he will be later. And I, I hit him with a pan of doom. Alright. So, flying spiders drop feathers, apparently. 